This is the Empire Strikes Back Vader, or? Yes. Very nice. Light up belt boxes, light up chest pieces. Beautiful. Max, you mind shooting some stills for me, please? Sure. All right, we're doing it. Because he has the, the things on the outside, that's like a new hook, but then the window speakers are different. So it's kind of an amalgamation. Sorry, I'm, I'm no, no, totally no. being a nerd, but... Dude, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Look at where we all are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be who you gotta be. Gotcha. And then that's true, and for a lot of things, I mean, that's a versions, variants, etc. Mm -hmm. Now we can. Mm -hmm. Like, R2 in a new hope. Face mask, but come on. And it would have an Anakin underneath it. Yeah, I've seen that one. So, that one, this one doesn't do that because we wanted to maintain the specialness for the collectors of the original mm -hmm. that we put out. But this one is what we call more accurate and a more representative. So, we've got metal tusks. Like kind of a perfect polish. You can see far less of a widow's peak on this than yeah. Um, yeah, on the right, yeah. This part itself is slightly different. We've had a new process that creates kind of the chest piece, the chain that comes down into the hook to maintain the fabric elements of the cape as well. So like if you if you're looking for like a that's what a Vader bus would look like, this is that. Okay. So it's kind of taken and blended all of the like, oh we did it one way from one movie, we did it one way from the other, but this would be what I would flag as sort of the coolest. Are, are they letting you guys do like Rogue One stuff like the, for yet for the Darth Vader stuff? Is there any connection here to that research, or can I not answer, ask that question right now? Yeah, I totally understand. <laughs> All right, but I gotta try. He pointed at Jason's <laughs> face just to see for the people who didn't see out on camera. <laughs> okay. So we have done previously. We've done an R2D2 before. This one's actually a little bit larger than our last one to one R2D2. Going back and forth, and you're just like, Grant Lucas from Sins, and you're just like, so he's a much more screen accurate archer. Okay. This one in particular, it doesn't roll, it doesn't move, it's on a Millennium Falcon base. The third uh, leg is always going to be down. Mm -hmm. Lights and sound from a hardcore speaker that we've got sitting up here in the center. It is actually made of metal plastics and fiber glasses. So we've also got a, there's a stand here, I push this guy in, there's a chain, a yellow container. Carving that will hold the uh, remote control that handles the lights as, as well as uh, the sounds. So Can you show us that or not right now? <laughs> he doesn't like that. Don't do that. <laughs> That's awesome. That was so exceptionally well timed. I know, right? Well, last time I started like handling it, I started doing the weird cooing thing. Right. Which is like, this is awkward. That's, that's yeah. a whole other thing. Yeah. So we've got the lights here. Like, the eye sockets will rotate. And as well as... Oh, wow. It doesn't spin. We've been we've been at this all day and we've established the rapport and the relationship. <laughs> it's, well, it's, this is my guy. Um, <laughs> so we're also giving one away. So we can anybody go to the one as well, which is kind of great. Uh, we debuted him yesterday, he's never before been so. These guys again. Everybody's got a different take on how they want it to be. So at least they're kind of big Good idea. <laughs> it's a really good idea.